Gwen, if you don't mind, from the state of Florida standpoint, I know you you uh, are over uh, helping keep things coordinated. I know the governor was uh, was in the area again. Uh, I would like to uh, to also remind folks, if you would, uh, if you've got a question, uh, we've got some individuals with us from the Coast Guard, NOAA, and the state of Florida. You can press zero on your telephone keypad. But uh, Gwen, can you give us an update on the state of Florida uh, and what? what you were doing in the uh, in the incident right now in preparation for potential cleanup? Yes, Congressman. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, we've currently got about 30 members of the Florida State Emergency Response Team over here in, uh, in Mobile. Um, the State EOC in Tallahassee has also stood up in response to this, uh, this event. We are focused here in the Unified Command on, on just that, as Captain Poulin alluded to, is coordinating the effort so that there's, there's a kind of seamless cooperation between Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, the Coast Guard, and, and BP, the responsible party. Um, you've got representatives. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a quick cross-section of the representatives you have here, and I think it'll, it'll give you a feel for, for the aspects that we're addressing. We've got, uh, I'm here with uh, part of the team from emergency management. We've got environmental protection, Department of Health, Fish and Wildlife, Department of Transportation, Fire Rescue, National Guard, and revenue among the organizations that are here and uh, again coordinating that response but we're also looking for that long-range planning on impacts as this potentially moves across the panhandle and, and down on into the rest of the state but also how uh, how we'll recover um, the, the uh, gentleman from revenue is our ESF what we call emergency support function 18 and he is here to represent the business community and uh, part of his task over here is how to collect um, and document the impact of this on the economy of the panhandle and how we address that going forward. Uh, Governor Christ was here today with his cabinet and several state representatives. Uh, we briefed them and uh, had, I think, a good meeting. And, and again, right now, I think we're focused on the mitigation strategies, how to boom and prevent the impacts on the shore. And again, with that focus of that team we've got here, looking at the uh, um, potential health impacts and, and all the other impacts in, in uh, coordinating that response for your constituents. Thank you. What I'd like to do right now News is... News Radio 1620 uh, live coverage of teleconference town hall meeting uh, featuring Congressman Jeff Miller. just joined us uh, want to ask a question. Hit zero on your telephone keypad uh, and you'll be put into a queue to ask a question. I'm Congressman Jeff Miller. I'm in Washington. We have some individuals in the in the Mobile uh, command center uh, that are helping to deal with uh, the uh, oil spill uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. I want to say thanks to our friends at 1620 for simulcasting this tonight uh, for us so folks that uh, are in their cars on their way home may have an opportunity to hear. But we will go uh, to the first person uh, to, uh, to talk to tonight is in the uh, Pensacola uh, area. It's the Collins residence. How are you this evening? Fine, Congressman Jeff. I met you a couple of years, weeks ago when we were maybe a month when uh, you were here with Rubio. Uh, well, I'm, I'm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Thank, thanks for uh, reminding me. Are you are you strictly limiting this to the Gulf uh, oil situation, or? or, or, or... Uh, I would like to. I, I really would. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and, and I'll let you fire off a question, but I'd like to ask everybody else to do it to uh, to limit because of the the amount of time that we got. But what uh, what can we do for you? Okay. First and foremost, I was very much involved in the uh, Exxon Valdez, having been a party to the cleanup effort as a state employee. And it is a mess. It will be a mess. And thank God it was BP who's got the money to pay for it. And the well, and, and I think uh, I think that is true. Uh, the the uh, administration has made it very clear they are the responsible party. There are some questions out there in regards to uh, a seventy five million dollar cap on certain damages. But as we were talking with uh, Secretary Salazar uh, this afternoon, it's very clear uh, that. Uh, BP has told them that they will pay uh, for what's necessary, and the administration and, and this Congress will do everything that we can to hold their feet to the fire. The, the thing, it, you know, that there's obviously what's going on now. There will be the cleanup afterwards, and without question, we're going to have the, the issue of uh, lost revenue for not only people, uh, who are in the area that make their living in, on the water, uh, but certainly the tourism industry and many, many more 
who are involved as well. So I uh, appreciate your personal uh, testimony from being involved with the Exxon Valdez.